Some of the images you create may have different lighting on the top and the bottom. And to improve the photograph, you'll want to have a balanced exposure. For this photo, the top of the image is fairly bright while the bottom is a little too dark. And I'd really like to even these out. I'm going to begin by seeing what the Enhance AI slider does. I like to use Enhance AI at the beginning of my photo edits. It's a great tool and it really does a good job of bringing out the tones and contrasts of my photograph. I'll increase the accent slider and it definitely improved the contrast and the light, but I still need to balance the light on the top and the bottom. To do this, I'll go over to local masking. I'll click add at the top and select basic. I'll begin by making some adjustments to the overall scene and I'll add the masking afterwards. I'll start with the top. I'll go down to the highlights and move it to the left. This helps to bring more detail back to that area. Next, I'll go up to exposure and reduce it slightly, but I don't wanna to go too far. And remember, I'm only looking at the top part of my photograph when I make these specific adjustments. Next, at the top of the tool, I'll click the drop down and select gradient mask. I'll click and drag down to create my mask. Now, if I toggle this off and on, I can see that it only affected the top part of my photograph. Now I'll repeat this for the bottom half, but instead of making it darker, I want to make it a bit brighter. I'll click add again at the top and select basic. I'll begin by going down to the shadow slider and moving it to the right. Then I'll go up to exposure and I'll also move that slightly to the right. I'll go back up to the top of the tool and select gradient mask. Now I'm going to click and drag up in the image to create the mask at the bottom of the scene. As I toggle that tool off and on, I can see I was able to bring out detail in the shadow areas. Now let's go ahead and preview the before and after of the changes I've made. I'll use that backslash key, and I can see now that I have a really nice even light on the photograph. With the local masking tool, I was able to really balance the exposure in this photograph.